Is it possible that this creature has survived in the vast, unexplored ocean? If so, why is its emergence happening now, after all this time? Could climate change be to blame? In 2004, a 9.2 sea quake struck the Indian Ocean. The quake hit off the coast of Sumatra, hey, reportedly you. killing scores of people in the province of Aceh. It gave rise to a tsunami that hit the coastline of southern Asia, killing over 230,000 people and dramatically altering the topography of the seafloor, pushing regional sea life away and forcing them to find new territories to inhabit. We are getting word of a powerful earthquake that has hit Japan. 2011's 9.0 earthquake and tsunami in Japan killed nearly 16,000 people and forever changed Japan's coastline. Since the tsunami, there have been abundant accounts of sea life appearing in local waters that up until now had never been documented. Hurricane Sandy is on track to blast the U.S. so hard. In October 2012, Superstorm Sandy devastated the Mid-Atlantic in the northeastern section of the United States. This storm is massive, nearly a thousand miles wide. The storm surge that Sandy created reshaped coastlines and shifted ocean currents. Since these storms, experts have documented a sharp rise in populations of marine animals migrating into new territories, including humpback whales. Studies show that the last two decades of the 20th century have been the hottest on record in 400 years, and possibly for as long as several millennia. Is it all connected? Could evolving worldwide environmental conditions be impacting the behavior of long-hidden sea creatures? Sea life has been behaving erratically. We've had a lot of very aggressive marine life behavior documented. We're also seeing marine life traveling to territories they've never gone before, which is why we're seeing so many unusual and rare species wash up on the shores. So what I'm saying is we have to be open to any possibility, including Megalodon. Is Drake making the case for what may be the greatest oceanic discovery of our lifetime? Has climate change pushed the prehistoric megalodon out of hiding and into populated areas? If you look at the recent sightings all around the world, along with seismic activity, tsunamis, superstorms, global warming, nothing would surprise me. Look, I'm still trying to figure out what it is that we're chasing. We've got that witness that saw that attack on a whale with that big fin right behind it. And that was pretty much straight after that fishing boat went down. We got the whale that washed up in Hawaii without its tail. We got that kid in Chile who uh, saw the footage on the government camera. And now we've got some new evidence that's come in from the uh, Brazilian Coast Guard. This footage is pretty amazing. The aerial footage from the Coast Guard rescue in Brazil is just out of this world. And it got me wondering if there was a pattern to these sightings. 